Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces. In this indeterminate address, first we have to find the degree of static indeterminacy. This is the formula. DSI is the degree of internal static indeterminacy. This is the formula to find that. M is the number of the members. Let us count the members. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So M is 6. J is the number of the joints. 1, 2, 3, 4. So J is 4. For DSI, we will get 1. DSE is the external degree of static indeterminacy. The formula is R minus R. The caps R is the number of the reactions in the truss. In the hinged support, there will be two reactions. And in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. So R is 3. Small r is the number of available equilibrium conditions. There are three conditions available. Sigma V is equal to 0. Sigma H is equal to 0. And Sigma M is equal to 0. So small r is 3. For DSE, we will get a 0. So the degree of static indeterminacy will be 1. In this address, there is only internal degree of static indeterminacy. We have to keep any one of the member force as the redundant. It will be easy if we keep either AC or DB as the redundant force. I am going to keep AC as the redundant force. We have to make this table. In this table, first we have to enter all of the members. Then we need to find the member forces F in terms of FAC. Let us see how to find them. First we have to find the reactions. We know that in the hinged support there will be two reactions. Here there is a roller support so there will be only one reaction. That is a vertical reaction. First I am going to find the vertical reaction VA. For that I am going to take movement about B. Let us keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 8 so 8 VA. The horizontal load is 16 kN is acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive and the distance is 6. The vertical load 32 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is 8. For these two, when we take moment about B, there is no perpendicular distance, so we should not consider both of them. For VA, we will get 20 kN. Using this rule, let us find VB. These two are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. And these two are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. In this way, for VB, we will get 60 kN. Let us use this rule and find HA. This is acting towards the right side so it will be positive and this is acting towards the left side so it will be negative. In this way for HA we will get a 16 kN. We need to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle let us use a tan theta formula. Tan theta will be opposite side by adjacent side. The opposite side is 6, the adjacent side is 8, so 6 upon 8. In this way for theta, we will get 36.87. We know that this angle, this angle, this angle and this angle will be same and all are 36.87 degree. First, I am going to take joint A and to find the member forces. To find the member forces, I am going to use the method of joints. I am going to only use cos theta. If you wanted to use sin theta as well, it is up to you. This angle will be 90 minus 36.87. So that we will get 53.13. Let us apply this rule. FAD and 20 are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. FAC is inclined. We have to resolve it in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. So with the FAC, we have to multiply cos 53.13. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive. We need to take these two on the other side. Now let us apply this rule. 
it is acting towards the left side so it will be negative FAB is acting towards the right side so it will be positive we have to resolve FAC in the horizontal direction to keep it horizontal we need this angle so with the FAC we have to multiply cos 36.87 since it is acting towards the right side it will be positive we need to take these two terms on the other side FAC is the redundant force, so we have to find all of the members in terms of FAC. Now let us take the joint to B and to find the member forces. First we have to apply this rule. If we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown FBD. FAB is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. We have to resolve FBD in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FBD, we have to multiply cos 36.87. It will be acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. FAB, we have already found, we can apply that. But here there is a negative sign. So we have to multiply FAB with the negative and then apply. Finally, for FBD, we will get this. Now we can apply this rule. Both of these are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. We have to resolve FBD in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. So with the FBD, we have to multiply cos 53.13. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive. Just before we have found FBD, we can apply that. We have to multiply this with the cos 53.13. So that we will get this. Finally, for FBC, we will get this. Now let us take the joint C. FBC we have already found only we have to find FCD. Using this we can find that. FCD is acting towards the left side so it will be negative. We have to resolve FAC in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal we need this angle. So with the FAC we have to multiply cos 36.87. Since it is acting towards the left side it will be negative. For FCD, we will get this. Let us enter all of the forces. We have to partially differentiate F with respect to FAC. In this term, there is no FAC, so it will become 0. Here, for FAC, it will be 1. 1 into minus 0 0.8, it will be minus 0 0.8. This will be 0. And here, it will be minus 0 0.6. Here, it will be minus 0 0.8. Here it will be minus 0 0.6 and here it will be 1. Here also it will be 1. Then we have to enter all of the lengths of the members. Length of AD and BC is a 6. Length of DC and AB is 8. Using the Pythagoras theorem we can find lengths of AC and BD. Root of 6 square plus 8 square we will get. 10 meter. Let us enter all of the lengths. Then we have to enter the areas of the members. Areas are given in the question. We need to convert them into meter square. So we have to divide all of the areas by 1000 into 1000 so that we will get the values in meter square. Let us enter all of the areas. Then we have to calculate this force into do F upon do FAC into L upon A so that we will get these. We have to add all of these so that we will get this. Now we are going to use Castellanos theorem of least to work. The redundant reaction components of a statically indeterminate structure are such as to make the internal work or strain energy a minimum. This is the equation according to the theorem. In the question, nothing is mentioned about the Young's modulus E. We can assume that the Young's modulus for all of the members is the same. In this case, we can take that outside and take it on the other side. 0 into E, we will get a 0. This one we have already found, we can apply that. For FAC, we will get 5.926 kN. In these equations, we can apply the value of FAC. So that we will get the forces. Here in the truss I have entered all of the member forces. If the member force is positive that is a tensile 
and if the member force is negative that is compressive let us do one more problem if the member AC is shot by 2 mm find the forces in the members of the truss the member AC is shot by 2 mm the Young's modulus E is given we can convert 2 mm into meter now this will be equal to 0 0.002 this one should be positive because when a member becomes a short, it will be under tension. We can take 1 upon EI outside. This one we have found. Let us apply that. The Young's modulus is given in the question. That also we can apply. We will get this equation. Using this equation, we can calculate FAC. In these equations, we can apply the value of FAC so that we will get the member forces in all of the members. Here in the truss, I have entered all of the member forces. Let us see one more problem. Find the forces in the truss if the temperature in the member AC rises by 30 degrees Celsius. The coefficient of thermal expansion alpha is given. Also, Young's modulus is given. We need to find the deflection due to the temperature change that is L into alpha into T. Length of AC is 10 meter. Alpha and Young's modulus are given in the question. For L alpha T, we will get this. Now this will be equal to 0 0.0036. But it should be applied as negative because when the temperature rises, the member will be under compression. We can take 1 upon E outside, then we can apply this and also the Young's modulus. For FAC, we will get this. In this, we can apply the value of FAC so that we will get the member forces. Here in the truss, I have entered all of the member forces. Let us solve one final question. In this truss, we need to find the member forces. In this question, nothing is mentioned about the area. In this case, we can assume that the area is common for all of the members. In the table, no need to make a column for the area. To find this, we have to multiply these three so that we will get this. Then we have to add all of them. After adding, we will get this. From this equation, we can take 1 upon AE outside and we can take it on the other side. 0 into AE, it will be 0. This one we have found, we can apply that. For FAC, we will get this. In this one, we can apply the values of FAC so that we will get the member forces. Here in the truss, I have entered all of the member forces. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.